attracted to darker colors unless they are found on furry or leathery objects. <coughs> if they are attracted to lighter colors, it will be due to the fact that they will not be able to identify whether it's on a flower since they are not able to identify an object. For well, this is, we have decided to wear three different colors. I'll be wearing yellow. I'll be wearing black. And I'll be wearing white. And we're going to test these three different colors to see if they attract bees. We will also be doing three different types of movements. I'll be in constant motion. I'll be in very slow motion. And I will be in a movement. And we're going to test these out, all three of us, in 45 minutes outside with three different types of weather. The first weather we're doing is cloudy, we're also doing rainy, and we're also doing sunny days to see which day or weather and what color and movements attract the bees. Today we're going to be recording on a rainy day. This, this is a stage where you have to stand still for the bees not to come. This is a stage where you have to move slowly. Oh, Brady, what is he fighting? This is a stage where you move really, really fast in order to attract the bees. After our first couple of days of testing, we noticed that no bees were being attracted to our colors and movements. So we decided to find a new place to record where beehives can be found. Uh, we found beehives outside of the school cafeteria and we decided to start recording there and collecting our data outside of the school cafeteria. Today we'll be recording for a cloudy day. Hey, the beehive is up there on the cafeteria right now window. now we're recording the static movement, no motion, to see if it attracts bees with the color white. There is no bees attracted to this color so far nor they're coming out. Okay, now we're recording for the color black and a uh, little bit of movement. As you can see, there are no bees to be coming and there's no sign of them. Right now, we are recording constant motion in a windy day with the color yellow. There is no bees being attracted to this color or this weather at this point. Today, we will be recording on a sunny day. Now, Miguel is standing with no movement at all. There is no bees attracted to the color white so far on a sunny day or no movement at all. Today, a Stephanie is standing outside on a sunny day wearing black trying to see if bees will be attracted to her color and movement. Now, Diane is in constant movement on a sunny day with the color yellow. There are no bees being attracted at this moment because of the movement or the color. However, we did do some research and we found out more about bees. Bees are not really attracted to colors as much as we may think. Bees are more attracted to scents than color itself. Some of these scents may include scented perfume with any floral scents. It also includes scented lotions from any floral scents as well. Scented body wash is also on the list. Last but not least, detergent is also a target for bees. If there's any floral scents to it, the bees will be attracted to this. Speaking of detergents, bees are also attracted to UV brighteners. UV brighteners can be found in detergents to make the scent be more realistic. No matter what color you're wearing, bees will be attracted to this. Some colors to avoid are dark colors, like black and red. These colors resemble predators and bees will attack you in their defense. Some of these natural predators bees attack and may confuse you for are bears and skunks. Wearing pale bright colors may reduce the attraction of bees like white. That is one reason why bee suits are this color. However, if you do attack bees Bees will eventually get mad, and this is one of the reasons bees may attack you. This is one of the bees' defense mechanism, and after stinging you shortly after, the bee will die. When the temperature drops to the 50 degrees or lower, the bees go back to their beehive, forming a winter cluster. This cluster is made to protect the queen bee. This explains why the bees were, were not outside during the rainy or cold days. 
Our experiment had no results. We had no bees attracted to our colors and movements. What we should have changed to make our experiment effective is that we should have been moving with our different colors in different locations. We could have stood outside our school field or near the bushes instead of just having stood outside Diana's house and our school cafeteria. If we had attacked the bees, then maybe we would have bees come to us since they would be attacking us as a form of defense. Our hypothesis didn't come true because the bees weren't attracted to anything we did or any movement that we were making or the colors that we wore. We expected the bees to be attracted to me when I was wearing the leather jacket because when bees see anything leathery or fuzzy, they think it's a predator and they attack it right away. But we were wrong, our hypothesis didn't come true. And yeah. The movements that Diana had to do were very difficult for her because she had to have constant motion and it tired her. So every single time it tired her, she stopped to take a breath and that I think that would have affected our um experiment because me and Miguel had to do the the a movement all complete throughout the whole entire video, but Diana had to take breaks because she couldn't really um, breathe so in order to improve this experiment we could have chosen a better an easier um, movement for her to maintain throughout the whole entire video and it would have been more effective and made her experiment more successful or not. our hypothesis was sadly busted because there was no trees trees <laughs> I mean bees. There was no bees attracted to us. I'm like, where are you? <laughs> but there was no bees attracted to us or anything we did or the colors we were, the movements, nothing. So it was busted. And congratulations. You don't have to listen to my voice anymore. We're done. <laughs>